Aaron here, the CEO of EV Initiative, and today our EV charging hub review continues. We're at BP Pulse, their Giga Hub, located right next to LAX Airport here in Los Angeles. It is a large charging facility, as you can see behind me. There are 48 stalls in total, and they feature both 150 kilowatt as well as 400 kilowatt fast DC EV charging stations. The beautiful thing about this place as well is that they do have restrooms on site in the back and they also have a small lounge. There's a couple of vending machines where you can relax, grab a snack and wait while your car charges. Okay, let's dive into it. We're going to charge our Cybertruck here uh, in the back on one of the 400 kilowatt DC fast chargers here and we're going to see how easy it is. Now we are going to charge our Cybertruck here on this 400 kilowatt EV charger. And so far, just by looking at it, the charging experience seems pretty simple and seamless. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you pull up is plug in. Please plug in firmly until you feel it click. So let's do that. Click. So once you plug your car in, you're gonna see two options come up on the screen. One to download the app, the other one just to plug in and charge. So because today we're not coming back and we're not gonna be avid users of this location, we are going to opt out of downloading the app and just use our credit card to pay. Pricing at this location seems fair and they do it on a tiered pricing structure. So off peak hours, which is the hours between 6 a.m. and 2 p.m., they are charging 40 cents a kilowatt. During peak hours, which is typically 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., that's 60 cents a kilowatt hour. And then again, off peak hours from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., uh, back to 40 cents. So pricing seems fair. Uh, charging is, the charging experience is very, very simple. Um, also one thing to note, uh, typically these are configured in a two port charger. So when you plug in your car, you just want to make note of which cable you plugged into the code. Just want to make note here, because when it comes to pay, you, you want to click the port that you've plugged into your vehicle. So very, very simple. As you can see, since we're not going to download the app, all we have to do is tap our card. I believe it pre-authorized your card for $35. Same as if you're at a gas station and I paid for gas on the inside, I, I fueled up for 50. I only used $40 worth, then the remaining amount, that extra $10, will get credited back to you. And the beauty of these 400 kilowatt chargers is that you can get a full charge in around 20 minutes or less. are you coming to this particular location, the Giga Hub, to charge your vehicle? About once a day. Once a day? Maybe twice, depending on the level of activity. Okay, and are you local to this area? Local enough, yes. Local enough. What is your overall experience charging here? Have you ever come here and it's been overcrowded or any issues or? Overall? No, I've never had an issue here. It's always a station available. It's the only place with a bathroom. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't have a vending machine here. Yeah. Um, everywhere else is just like, you know, here's your charging station and that's yeah. it. How important is it for you to have a, a washroom at the charging station when you wait oh, to charge your mandatory. vehicle? mandatory. No one else has one. Yep. You always have to, well, as an Uber driver, you have to find a Starbucks, find a restaurant, find something. Everything's here, it's convenient. That's why I come here. Have you ever had any issues starting your charge when you're here or has everything no, um, the prices have been consistent. The charging is easy enough. I have the app. So um, once I come, I plug in which terminal, terminal I'm at, it starts, that's it. Okay, I noticed when you charge your vehicle, you have an option, you can just tap your credit card or you can download an app. Mm -hmm. um, you just mentioned you use the app. Yeah, I figured I'd be here so much anyway, so I might as well just have the app. So is there a benefit to using the app? Do you get points or? Not that I'm aware of, but it's definitely faster. Faster than if you were to not use the app. Because you have to, uh, you know, Log in and or the card it, and all yeah. that. So is it? It's a plug and charge when you use the app. You plug in, it automatically builds your account. Similar to it'll build my account, whatever card I want to activate on that account, and then yes. Okay. 
So you mentioned you're an Uber driver, and of course you're an Uber driver driving an EV. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to stop at a Tesla supercharger to charge? I've used a Tesla supercharger, but uh, I had an adapter to stop working. Okay. Um, but yeah, I used it before. So when you're out and about, are you mainly going to non-Tesla or are you going to Tesla superchargers or is this whatever's available? If it's an emergency, I'll use whatever is available. Okay. Um, if I'm near the area or if I can get here, mm -hmm. I'll just come here. Okay. And let's say you're charging here. I think you're on the 150 kilowatt station. Mm -hmm. If you're plugging in at a low battery, 20%, let's say, mm -hmm. how long would it take you on the 150 kilowatt charger to bring the battery up to 80%? Ooh, I haven't timed that one before, but Roughly. not too long, maybe 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes, so that's not so bad. And have you ever used a 400 kilowatt charger? Yes. Yeah, and that one is much quicker, right? Yes, way faster. 10 minutes or less or more? Um, it depends on how much battery you have, okay. but uh, not too long. Actually, I need to get uh, another adapter because I'll use that one. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and it'll be even faster, I imagine, by at least half. Okay. And uh, how often are you hanging out in the lounge and buying anything from the vending machine or are you just waiting in your car? <laughs> just curious. Um, usually I'll go, like now, um, not quite lunchtime yet for me. Yeah. But uh, if I'm here and it is and I don't want something heavy, yeah. You go in there? Okay. Austin, yeah. Awesome. Last question for you. If you had to rate your charging experience at this location out of one to 10, what would it be? I would say 10. 10, all right, yeah. that's great. So how long have you been driving EV? About four years already. Four years? Yeah. And what made you uh, switch to EV? Well, I, I started working at Tesla like four years ago. So Four years ago? Yeah, that made me get into the world of energy. Yeah. You know, the electric vehicles and Would stuff. you uh, ever go back to driving a combustion engine vehicle? Uh, yeah, somehow. Sometimes? Um, what brought you here today? Well, this car is going out. So you gotta get it ready for the customer, you know, so. Okay. You gotta get it fast. Like you say, this is pretty fast charging, so. Very fast charging. Yeah. So how come you're charging at the 150 kilowatt station and not the 400? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. So uh, in the future, would you like to see more uh, fast EV charging hubs like in this style versus how it's been to date where a couple chargers in the parking lot? No, it's, this is way better, you know, it's like yeah. a whole. The, the whole thing in one place. You don't have to yeah. wait for it to like a, make a line or... Yeah, it's very big, locks the room, never have to wait. So the beauty of this location too is that there's a lounge and washroom so you don't have to sit in your car. Have you ever utilized a lounge or the washrooms here? No, no, I have not. No? Okay. No, yeah, pretty much just sit in the car, wait for it to be ready and head okay. to work, you know? And then uh, last question, if you had to rate your charging experience at this location on a scale of one to 10, what would it be? I think 10. 10? You no, know, it's pretty, it's, the, the location is pretty, location. it's really accessible, mm -hmm. and the service is just, they're amazing. Okay. Fast. If there's one thing you could change or add to this location, what would it be? Maybe more food options, and if so, yeah, yeah just what are your opinions and thoughts on that? Yeah, a little juice bar or something like Juice bar, yeah. smoothies maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hot food. Would you order hot food here if you had yeah. the time? And, yeah. yeah? I mean, meanwhile, I'm waiting, you know? Yeah, and Might what type well. of food would you like to eat? More like into Mexican style. Yeah. Mexican, so tacos, perhaps a taco yeah. truck. I would like that. Yeah, interesting, because we're, we're, we're actually going to have a spot for taco trucks to pull up at our EV charging hub. Yeah. So you can grab tacos while you wait, etc. Yeah, so that was so good. Yeah. We're with Jules. <laughs> Jules, okay. Yeah. And you guys are an EV car rental company? Yes, sir. Makes sense. You guys are located right by LAX for all the tourists to come yeah, in? Yeah, right there by El Segundo. Yeah. How long have you guys been in business? Uh, in LA, we moved like about two years. Two years? Yeah. How many cars are in your fleet? Uh, at the time, right now, we have about 12. 12. All right, yeah. guys, so if, you're, if you're coming to LAX, uh, check out this company here. It's called Ju, say it again. J-O-U-L-E-C. Julie's EV car rentals right by LAX.